right, it's Liquid Lunch. I'm here with the beautiful and charming, oh my vivacious... Uh, Lisa Timmons? <laughs> I can't remember her I name. I stunned him with my beauty. I can't remember her name for a second. Um, so, how are you today? <laughs> I'm fantastic. How are you, Wayne Ford? Uh, I'm doing all right. Um, I, we got to dive right in, because there's a lot going on, and by a lot, I mean a little. Um, <laughs> but we're really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, very excited. The new Dancing with the Stars cast, what do you think? I think it, they can actually change the name back from Dancing with the Who. I Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> it's so funny. It's they, like last season. I was like, who are these people? It was so confusing. I, um, I, I There's a lot more Olympians. I know. Uh, time uh, athletes, Missy, I May. Missy May. Missy May. I think the it's volleyball. trainer is it her her last name. The oh. beach volleyball champion. Right. Um. There's. I, is it like a track star? Um. Uh, I don't know, but Kim Kardashian is on it. But she <laughs> made news when she hurt her toe I know. on a How glass perfect was, table. was that timing? Because all the articles were were like, is she going to be able to perform? It was exactly. That's when the stars got announced, and then the sub story was Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Lance Bass is going to be on the show. Not dancing with the man. <laughs> oh, I know. I heard that that was a little thing. But that they may have a, him dance with the but guy. You know, so the, maybe that wouldn't be fair. I don't think that would be fair to him because I think that's mm. more difficult because then you have to decide who's going to lead. Ooh, leading. Well, not him. And with the, <laughs> uh, uh, back to Kim really quick. He's, she's with the Mark guy who won last year with Christina oh, Lagucci. Oh, that's right. So I think Kim could have a chance, but she's not a dancer. She's never danced before. And here's what I was she's saying, She's just competing with herself. Here's <laughs> That's what she's she just said. A personal best. Personal. Uh, I just think she's too damn pretty. She's never had to really, really stretch out of her comfort zone. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could be wrong, though. Here's the last question. two winners, girl winners of Dancing with the Stars, their names have started with K. Hmm. Kim said that on the today show. <laughs> I, I stole that. Let's, let's move on. Of course, Leachman, though. So oh, we can't move on yet. That's going to be fantastic. Big fan of her. She was on the Comedy Central roast of Bob Saget. Stole the show. Oh, I bet she did. She's she, so funny. Hilarious. Here. I'm really glad to hear that she's doing this, but she um, did not get the part that she, the, the, the role that she had in uh, Young Frankenstein for the Broadway production oh. of it. She, they decided to cast someone else. And she's what, so sassy. What, was she not old enough or something? <laughs> They were so worried that she was too old, but she's, I oh, she's can't so wait for old. her to get on the yeah. show and just be super sassy. So is Jessica Biel pregnant? She looks it, doesn't she? Yeah. And she's one of those Let's ones who's on. always so fit. <laughs> oh, uh, in No One Gives a Shit News, yeah, Daddy Yankee has endorsed John McCain. Who has? <laughs> exactly. Who's Daddy Yankee? Daddy Yankee, hello, reggaeton superstar. Oh. Apparently his camp was approached by both the candidates. I love that. <laughs> and there's a previous rumored report that he had endorsed Barack Obama. But no, he's endorsing John McCain, everyone. Good for for you. And that concludes No One Gives a Shit to You. I thought John McCain was Daddy Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> I think that listen, you never see him in the same place together. <laughs> it's like Clark Kent. I'm just saying. So there's all these pictures. Heidi and Spencer do this all the time. Oh, God. Where they, they're, like, out shopping or looking at magazines, or they, like, impromptu. Oh, the paparazzi are here. Oh, I, I'm in my bunny costume. Oh, I oh I keep holding different size melons. See, here's the thing. What's her name? The, the, the This chick, this reality TV chick, I'll show, we'll show you the picture of her. She just pulled the same exact scent with oh, watermelons, like, not that many weeks ago. <laughs> and she did the same face of the... Are they ripe? I'm sure this is all. This was Spencer's idea, and he had probably seen that several oh. days before, but forgotten. And so he like kind of like sat up and was like, thought, oh, "Oh, I, I just thought of something. A great idea. We're gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna hold up melons. Look, at, like they're your boobs. Oh my gosh, boobs! <laughs> but then she kept doing it with different size melons. Like, yeah, not just was, one time. Basically, mm-hmm. you know what they were doing? They were reenacting the visit to the plastic surgeon. He's like, "No, bigger, bigger, bigger." bigger. bigger. <laughs> Do you have any square ones? I wish I wish there were fruit? shots of him holding up like a little tiny carrot. <laughs> the next one's for free. Um, the D- Democratic National Convention. Uh, have you been watching the speeches? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting home late. That's why it's free. <laughs> I'm a little really lazy. Um, Michelle Obama was really good. That's what I heard. Uh, I Very also, moving. One thing I did hear was that some Fox reporter, some woman, I'll have to find the article, made some comment that uh, those women really shouldn't wear blue green and guess what she meant by those women wow that's yeah. unbelievable shocking that a fox news reporter would sound like they don't know any black people it did have <laughs> it, it was like this blue green thing and it kind of came down like this and then right here was like a star 
pattern or design of some kind. Ooh. And it was always right where the mic was. Oh, that's So it looked like the mic was like... Exploding? Speaking of explosions Somebody's in my pants. Getting, it's such an illogical sentence because I have never met a single person who looks bad in blue or green. Right. Those are pretty universally complimentary colors. Right. I just you look really great funny. in blue, by the way. Oh, thank you. But I look really green, bad in green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hillary's speech was good too. Hopefully, that rallies her uh, stragglers that are her supporters that don't want to support Barack for some reason. I don't understand that concept. That like, oh, we were all for Hillary and now she's out of the race, so I'm gonna go vote for McCain. I know. Don't do that. All right, that is it for Liquid Lunch today. Um, we out. You have any words of wisdom to impart? Oh, I don't ever have it. Oh no, but my boyfriend had his wisdom teeth removed. Fun fact. <laughs> Oh, I don't make it. I don't know how to fall.